right, sitting up nice and tall in your chair. March those feet. Take a deep breath in. You want to get oxygen to every single muscle. So good job taking a deep breath in again. Good. You got it. Pushing off the floor each time with those feet. Good. Now single toe taps to the front, right and left. Rowing the arms. Now out to the sides, right and left. Lifting that leg out to the side from your hips. We have four more of these. We're going to do eight to the sides. Good. Now two kicks on the right leg. Contract the thigh twice. Switch left. Again right. Good. And last time on the left. Now toe taps to the front. Rowing the arms. Just four of them to the front. And then out, out to the sides. Really stretch out those legs each time. Four more. Lifting the leg out from the hip joints, remember. Good job. Now double kick on the right. Double left. Good. Excellent. Now toe taps to the front, rowing the arms. Contracting those shoulder blades. Now out to the sides, lifting that whole leg off the chair from the hips. Good. Four. Three. Good. Double kick on the right leg, contracting the thigh. Left. Again, right. Good. Now single heel digs, right and left. Reach that arm straight out, shoulder height. Now take it up slightly to a diagonal, last four. You got it. Now single knee lifts, abdominals stay contracted. Lift that whole leg off the chair. We have four more to make, eight. Good. Single kicks for eight. Contract the thigh. Chest stays open, four more, three. Good, single heel digs, right and left. Sitting up nice and tall, reach that arm out, shoulder height, first four, and then up to a diagonal slightly, last four. Excellent, single knee lifts. Good job keeping those abs contracted and lifting that whole leg off the chair. Four more here. Good. Single kicks right and left. Contract the thigh each time. Four more. Four. Three. Good. Back to single heel digs. Last set. Good job sitting up nice and tall. Last four. Reach it up. Good. Now single knee lifts. Eight of them. Deep breaths in. Four more here. Good. Single kicks, right and left. Good. Contracting the thigh each time. Four. Three. Good. Now single toe taps to the front, that first combination that we remember. Now out to the sides. Remember to lift that leg up and out from your hip joints. You have four more of these. Good. Now double kick on the right leg and left. Good. You got it. Single heel digs, right and left, sitting up nice and tall. Good. Reach that arm up, last four. Excellent. Single knee lifts, abs stay tight. Four more of these. Single kicks. We have four, three, good. Toe taps to the front one more time from the top. Excellent. Take these out to the sides. Lift that leg up and out from the hip joint. Extra 
exercise class is a great reminder of how to move our bodies properly. Good. Double kick on the right leg. Always move your legs starting from your hips. Always move your arms starting from your shoulder joints. Good job. Excellent. Now, single heel digs, that second combo. Hand at shoulder height first. Now reach it up slightly. Last four. Excellent. Single knee lifts for eight. Abs stay tight. Lift that whole leg off the chair. Each time, you have four more. Good. Single kicks right and left for eight. You got it. Four more. Good. Now two marches out to the sides, two in. Push off that floor each time. Good. Last two. Abs stay tight. We're going to do our jumping jacks. Hips are in the back. If they're not, go ahead and scoot them back. But we're going to do both legs out, both legs in at the same time, really pushing off the floor. Good. Abs stay tight. You have four more jumping jacks to make. Eight. Good. Last two. Excellent. March it out, march it in. Getting those hips in the back. That'll help. Excellent. Good. Two more. Two out. Two in. Last one. Now jumping jacks. Make sure you're nice and secure in your seat. And then push off the floor each time. Full body workouts here. Good. Four more of these. Good. Last two. Excellent. Toe taps to the front. Right and left. Just four to the front. And now four to the sides, right and left. Good. With those hips in the same spot, we're gonna do our ski slope. We're gonna do right heel forward, left toe back, opposite arm. And then try your best to lift both legs off the floor at the same time. Remember, you go at your own pace. You do what's best for you. Four, three, abs still tight, good job. Back to toe taps to the front, right and left for four. Good, take them out to the sides for four counts. Excellent, get ready to do your ski slopes, right heel forward, left toe back, and then switch. Excellent, abs stay tight. Four, three, good. Toe taps to the front, right and left. Rowing the arms. Now out to the sides. Good. And then ski slope, right heel forward, left toe back. Good. Four more, four, three. Now first combo, which is two marches out to the sides, two marches in. You got it. Push off that floor. Remember that law of reaction? Push off the floor to spring those feet up. Good. Get ready for your jumping jacks. Eight of them. Eight. Abs stay tight. Good. Excellent. Four more here. Four. Three. Two. Now single toe taps to the front. Second combo. Excellent. Take these legs out to the sides for four, three, two. Now ski slope, right heel goes forward, left toe goes back, and then try to switch at the same time. Again, do what's best for you. Good. March it out, march it in. Last time from the top, push off the floor, That'll help increase your proprioception as well. You're telling your legs exactly what to do. Good, and then jumping jacks. Try to get both legs off the floor at the same time. Excellent, go at your own pace. You have eight of them. Four more, four, three, last two. Good, toe taps to the front, right and left. Rowing the arms. Now out to the sides, excellent. 
two more. Now ski slope. Right heel goes forward, left toe goes back. Abs stay tight. Four, three, good. March those feet, roll those arms at the heart. Get those feet right underneath the knee joints. Take a deep breath in, roll those arms up to forehead height, if that's okay for you, and then roll them back down. Neck and shoulders, stay down and relaxed. We're gonna work our abdominal wall, so just go ahead and scoot your hips forward. I'm gonna change my angle so you can see me better. Go ahead and grab a water too, to stay hydrated. We're gonna work our abdominal wall, top of your rib cage, all the way down to your pelvic bone. So that abdominal wall, your rectus abdominis right here, you're gonna concentrate on contracting your belly button in towards the spine. And when you're up in front of your chair, your feet are flat on the floor, and you have a nice posture that stays nice and aligned the whole time. The only movement here is at your hip joints. Okay, if you have a little too much pressure that you feel on your back, go ahead and scoot your hips back towards the back of the seat to decrease that range of motion. If your feet wanna come off the floor, you stop your torso at that point and then lift your torso back up. So when you're ready, I like to cross my hands over my chest. You do what's best for you. Hinge back from the hips, breathe out, contracting the belly button in each time. Importantly, you wanna breathe throughout every exercise. I like to breathe in on the way back, out on the way up. You do what's best for you, as long as you're breathing through the exercise. Good job keeping your feet flat on the floor. Good, deep breath in. Three more before our rest. Contract that belly button in towards the spine. Good. Now scoot your hips back. We're going to work our quadriceps, which start at our pelvic bone, cover our, the top of our leg, and then attach right here at the shin. Flex your foot and then contract that quadricep. And think about the contraction going in towards that pelvic bone each time, breathing out. Check that posture, chest open. Good. Great exercise to do when you've been sitting a while as well. Do this any time of day and breathe out. Good. And then switch sides. As long as you feel safe and secure while you're sitting, you can do this any time. Excellent, breathing out. That'll help increase that circulation as well. Notice that anytime you work, especially these major muscle groups, your heart rate goes up nice and quickly. Good, breathe out and in. Good, now place those feet right underneath the knee joints. Make sure your knee joints are around 90 degrees and then lift those toes up and down, nice and easy. You're working that tibialis anterior that starts right here in front of your knee joints, goes along your shin bones. Good, oh, you're not allowed to watch Spider-Man, I'm sorry. I like Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sorry about it. Okay, you're gonna watch uh, Wild Kratts, okay? or something educational. And then heels up and down, contracting those calf muscles, which start right here in the back of your knee joint. And go all the way past your heel to lift those legs up. Good job making sure your ankle joints and your lower legs are nice and strong as well. You have two more here. 
Good. Continuing on with our ankle and foot work, we're going to point and flex the ankle joint. I want to go to the bathroom. Definitely go to the bathroom if you need to. Can you go upstairs so I don't have to unlock that? Thank you. Good. And then switch sides. Point and flex. We want strong ankle joints. Great one to do. All of these are great to do when you've been sitting a while. They'll increase your circulation, increase your heart rate, strengthen your muscles. All good things here. All right, now one more set for your abs. Again, you're working your rectus abdominis right here in the front, your six pack. So think about that muscle group when you're doing your exercise. Get nice and aligned here. Remember, only movement at your hip joint. Hinge back, deep breath in, and breathe out. Contracting your belly button in towards the spine each time. Your neck's relaxed, your shoulders are down. I'm hoping that the outside noise isn't too distracting. They decided to uh, redo the road right in front of our place. Good, four more. Of course, at the time that I teach my class. Deep breath in and out. You have two more. Good job contracting that belly button in towards the spine each time. Good. Now, to stretch out that abdominal wall, we're gonna do a nice stretch. Again, only do what's right for you. Gently and carefully open your arms to the back. This is stretching your chest first and your biceps and your shoulders on the inside first. And then if you're comfortable with this, grab the back of your chair and then just lift your chest and upper rib cage up to the ceiling. You're not hyperextending your spine here. You're just lifting. It is kind of curving at the top to stretch and elongate your abdominal wall. And you could do it passively by holding on to the back of the chair. Again, never do anything that is a new pain or hurts. Good, and relax. Roll those shoulders up and back. Good job stretching the front part of your bodies. We're gonna strengthen the back part. We're gonna see if this angle works well. So you're gonna take your arms forward and you're gonna contract your shoulder blades together and your upper back and you're gonna slide those arms right on the sides of your torso. Breathing out, contract the shoulder blades together. That muscle group is your rhomboids. Your rhomboids, will strong rhomboids, will keep your shoulders right where they should be. And we want our shoulders right aligned with our earlobes. Back in the day, we used to shove our shoulders back. That's actually hyperextending our spine, which is not good. We just want to make sure that when your shoulders are nice and relaxed, they're right underneath your earlobes. And this exercise will help you do that because you're strengthening that upper back. Breathing out. You have one more. Good, now bring the elbows right at your sides, right at your sides. Relax your shoulders down opening up your chest, chin parallel to the floor. Remember, moving your arms should start from your shoulder joints. This is a great exercise to kind of help us remind ourselves of that. We're gonna still contract those shoulder blades together and just slightly rotate the arms out, again, from the shoulder joint. So this is not movement from your elbows and movement of your forearms. It's the whole arm is staying in place and you're contracting the rhomboids right in between your shoulder blades. Those rhomboids start at your spine and end at the side of those shoulder blades. 
So you're contracting that muscle towards the spine, towards its origin. Good, breathing out. You have three more. Excellent. Last two. Neck relaxed, good reminder, right? And rest, good. Roll those shoulders up and back. Make sure that your neck muscles stay nice and relaxed. Excellent, make sure you're well hydrated. Make sure you're well hydrated with your water. And you could scoot your hips back towards the back of the chair for this one. Make sure that your feet are right underneath your knee joints, so your knee joints are around 90 degrees. And when you're ready, pick up those feet one at a time. Again, pressing off the floor each time will help you lift that leg off the chair each time. Your pace is the best pace, so don't worry if you need a little bit more time with this. Just check your arm swing. Make sure that you're swinging your arms opposite of your legs, just like we want to walk. Proper walking is opposite arm forward as your leg. Good, deep breath in. Fill those muscles with lots and lots of oxygen. Again, for our cardio sections, we do everything in eight counts, so that's eight repetitions or four repetitions if we do doubles. Good, now we're gonna do double heel dig on the right to start off and then switch left. Hands at chest level. Good job keeping those shoulders relaxed. Now V step, making a V with our legs, two forward, two in. Excellent, we're gonna just do two more. Good, single knee lifts right and left for eight. Lifting that whole leg off the chair. Good, four, three, excellent. Double heel dig on the right and left. Good, one more, V-step, V-step, making a V with our legs. Excellent work, keeping those abs contracted. Last one. Good, single knee lifts, right and left. Lift that whole leg off the chair. Excellent. Four, three, good. Double heel dig on the right side, last, last set. You got it. We're having fun and V-step, V-step, reaching those heels forward and then bringing those legs in. Excellent. Two more. Good, and then single knee lifts. Abdominal stay contracted. Four, three, good. Double toe tap on the right side, lifting that leg out to the side, starting from those hips, right? Again, right? and left. Now two kicks on the right leg. Contract the thigh and left. Good. Excellent work. Double toe tap on the right side again. Good. Excellent. Double kick on the right leg. Contracting the thigh each time. Good. Excellent. Double toe tap on the right and left. Good. Double kick. Right leg. Excellent. Good. Double heel dig on the right, that first combo. Excellent. Again, right. Good. V step, making a V with our legs, two forward, two in. 
Excellent. Good. Single knee lifts, abdominals stay contracted. Lift that whole leg off the chair. We have four, three, and then double toe tap on the right side and left. Good. And then double kick on the right leg, contracting the thigh. You got it. Good. Last time, double heel dig from the very top. Good job sitting up nice and tall, hands at chest level, relaxing that neck. Good, V-step, V-step, reach it forward, bring it in. Excellent. Deep breaths in. You got it. Now, single knee lifts for eight. Good job lifting that whole leg off the chair. Your pace is the best pace, four more. Three. Good, now double toe tap on the right side. Lifting that leg out to the side, starting from the hip joint. Good job, good work. Excellent. Double kick on the right leg, contract the thigh each time. Good. Two more. Excellent. Good, march those feet. Place those feet right underneath your knees. Take a deep breath in. Fill those muscles with lots of oxygen. This next exercise, we're gonna work our quadriceps, the outside of our thighs called the abductors, and the inside of our thighs called our adductors, adductors. We're gonna take our right leg up. We're gonna take it out to the side from those outside thighs and switch to the left. Contract the quads, abductors, adductors. Focus on the top of the thigh, outside, inside. Excellent, left side. Here, the hardest part here is keeping that heel at the same level the whole time and just really concentrating on the upper leg, top, outside, inside of your thigh each time. Good. Continue to breathe through the exercise. One more time on the right side, making sure that you're moving your legs from your hips only. Good. Excellent. Now scoot your hips to the very front of your seat. That circulation's going nicely. We're gonna stretch out the right side, extend the right leg out straight, Sit up nice and tall, only pressure on the left side. Hinge forward from your hips with a flat back until you feel a stretch in your hamstrings, right here in the back of that thigh. Deep breaths in to get oxygen to those hamstrings. Great stretch to do every single day. Sometimes when I've been sitting too long, stretch doing this stretch actually helps my legs feel better. They just feel a little strange when I've been sitting a while. Good, deep breath in, and then carefully come up when you're ready. Roll the ankle joint around in a circle, both ways, and if your hips and joints allow, bend the knee and cross your legs. Good, place your hand underneath this knee joint. You're gonna stretch out this side of your hip, sitting up nice and tall. You should feel a stretch in that hip right here. If you want a deeper stretch, you can hinge slightly forward. Deep breaths into those hip muscles, glutes. Good, carefully come up. Now take that leg out to the side. I'm gonna change my chair, excuse me. This stretch can get a little cumbersome, so make sure you're nice and safe and secure on your seat. Make sure that this foot's flat on the floor. You're just opening up this hip opening up this leg. If you want a deeper stretch, you can hinge forward from the hip joint. Again, only putting pressure on the opposite leg. No pressure on this leg that's stretching. 
and then carefully come up, grab hold of your sturdy chair, opposite arm, reaches up and then over. If your shoulders allow, you could actually reach your arm forward if that's better for you. Keeping both hip bones on the seat, carefully come up, deep breath in, bring that leg back in. Good, switch sides, left hamstring stretch, deep breath in, and hinge forward. I might actually be mirroring you opposite, so I apologize, just do the other leg. Deep breath in, feeling a stretch in the hamstrings here. Get oxygen to those hamstrings. Spine is straight. Hold the stretch when you feel a slight stretch. Carefully come up, deep breath in. Roll the ankle joint around in a circle, both ways. Excellent, bend the knee and cross it over. Nice and easy, place your hand underneath the knee joint, sit up nice and tall. I already feel a stretch in this, these hips. If you want a deeper stretch, you can hinge forward from your hips slightly. I have you lifting up this knee joint to make sure that there's no pressure on this knee joint. Knees, as you know, only bend and extend. They don't do anything else except bend and extend. So this is just protecting that knee joint, making sure it's at a nice bend. And then carefully come up Carefully extend that leg out to the side, just opening up this hip. Place this foot flat on the floor. Again, this one is a little cumbersome, so make sure you're secure on your seat. If you want, you could hinge forward with a flat back, just opening up this hip, feeling a slight stretch on the inner thigh here. Deep breaths in. Carefully come up when you're ready. Deep breath in at the top. Grab hold of your sturdy chair. Opposite arm reaches up and then over. Good. Deep breath in and come up. You could bring that leg in with your arms if you need to. We're gonna do our quadriceps stretch and hip flexor stretch. So you could move your legs over here to the right or if you have arm rests, you could do this um, facing me. I'm gonna face the side just so you can see better. Make sure that the inside thigh here, the right thigh is firmly on the seat. Relax the outside leg down. So the knee joints around 90 degrees. You could tuck your toe under whatever is comfortable for you. Sometimes I need to readjust to make sure this feels right. And then when you're ready, you could slightly hinge back from your hips, opening up and expanding these hip flexor muscles. Those are what you feel right here in the front of your hip. We use them sitting, walking, everything, driving. So we wanna make sure that we stretch these hip flexors out, stretch the front of your hips. We contract them all throughout the day and we never want those to get too tight. Now you're, and you're also stretching your quadriceps. Some people like to take the same arm up. They get a deeper stretch that way. You do what's best for you. Just make sure you're nice and safe on your seat. And you're breathing into these quadriceps and hip flexors while you stretch them out. Good, when you're ready, feel free to uh, help your leg come back up with your arm. And then other side. Again, you can stay facing me or you can move your legs over to the left side. Make sure that one leg is firmly on the seat and the opposite leg is just relaxed down. Knee joints at 90 degrees. You could hinge back, expanding, elongating these hip flexor muscles. Again, those are that, that muscle that you feel right in front of your hips. And you're stretching your quadriceps. Feel free to lift that same arm up. Just make sure you're nice and safe on your seat. Breathing into those muscles that you're stretching. Again, great idea to stretch these every day. We use our quads and our hip flexors especially every day. We don't want any muscle to get too contracted, too tight, especially not our hips in the front here. 
Good. And then carefully bring that leg back up with the other one. Make sure you're safe on your seat. And then you can scoot your hips back however you're comfortable. We're going to focus on our upper body, stretching out our upper body, stretching out our wrists both ways. Wrist circles. Excellent. And then extend all 10 fingers out. Really splay the fingers, splay the hands, and really stretch the front part of each hand. Because as we said before about our hips, our hip flexors, we're constantly flexing our hands and we definitely don't want our hands to get contracted. Good job stretching them out. And then play the piano get oxygen to everything in your body, especially your fingertips. Good, we never want our fingers to get too stiff, so good job wiggling those fingers out, really paying attention to your hands. Good, and fingertips down and up, stretching out your forearms. Excellent, take a deep breath in. Think about every single muscle being full of oxygen. Good, again, deep breath in. Exhale, relax, opening up that chest. Roll those shoulders up and back. Good, relax the shoulders down. Let the weight of your head just rest your ear over to your shoulder. Again, only if this is right for you. Feel a stretch in the side of your neck here. Never force a stretch, especially not on your neck. Does not matter how far your ear is towards your shoulder. Carefully come up, take a deep breath in, and then let the weight of your head just rest your ear towards your shoulder. And it's nice to know how um, contracted your neck muscles are. Clearly you could see that my neck muscles are way too contracted. Carefully come up, take a deep breath in, and for our relaxation part, you can close your eyes. This relaxation, you're just gonna concentrate on all the muscles, head to toe. Take deep breaths in for four counts. Here we go, take a deep breath in. Two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, four. Deep breath in. Two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, four. Deep breath in. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Good. Feel your body just relax in your seat. Nice deep breaths. Wiggle those toes around. Try to feel the floor with your feet as best as you can. This will increase your proprioception, really important for your balance as well. Good, carefully open your eyes if you have them closed and give yourselves a great big hand. Good job getting your cardio in, strength training in, stretching in, and now relaxation. Thanks everybody.